Hey folks, today I want to take my two laptops and put them head to head in a battery test. I saw a video a few weeks ago from a YouTuber named Alex Zixkind. And sorry Alex, I'm probably butchering that last name, I apologize. And in that video, he took four different MacBooks with the same thing running on all of them. He then unplugged them and he let them run and see which one died first. And I put a snarky comment on that video saying, hey, you should have done that with a Windows laptop too to see how it goes. And I'm going to shamelessly steal Alex's video idea and I'm going to put this MacBook head to head against this Lenovo. So here are the two competitors. I have a 16 inch M1 Max and I have a 16 inch Lenovo ThinkPad. This is the P1 model. Both of these laptops are 2021 models. I'm gonna go ahead and get these unplugged. We'll get this competition started and I'll give a few more details on each of these laptops. So let's see who wins. I unplugged both of these laptops right before this footage started, and they are both charged to 100%. It was 2.23pm when I started the test. I set this test up similar to how Alex did his. However, I wanted to put a little more stress on the CPU to simulate a worst case scenario for how long each of these laptops might last under a really heavy workday for a developer. To do that, I'm running the same Mandelbrot script that Alex used, and I'm using the one in Node.js, and I'm putting it on a timer. And since I wanted to simulate a heavy load for a developer, I cranked up the frequency, and I'm running the script every 10 seconds. So the script will run, it will consume nearly 100% of all available cores until it finishes running that cycle of the algorithm, it will sleep for 10 seconds, and then it will repeat forever. I'll bounce back and forth between each laptop screen recording to show the battery and the CPU output. On each laptop, I also have a few other apps open that would simulate the things a developer might have open throughout their day. Chrome with four or five tabs, VS Code with its integrated terminal running the script, Azure Data Studio, and to record the screens for the video, I'm running OBS on each laptop. I also adjusted the screen brightness to be pretty even between each laptop, and I also set it so the screens wouldn't dim or shut down after some time of not being used. Now that I've gotten the script running on each laptop and the battery and CPU displays up, I'll speed up this footage. Here are the technical specs for each laptop. The Lenovo is a 16-inch ThinkPad P1 Gen 4. The CPU is an Intel i7-11850H with 8 cores. It has 32GB of RAM, a 1TB SSD, and an NVIDIA RTX 3070 GPU. The battery has a capacity of 90 watt hours. The MacBook is a 16-inch M1 Max with 8 performance cores and 2 efficiency cores. It also has 32GB of RAM and a 1TB SSD, but it has a slightly larger battery of 100 watt hours. I bought both of these laptops in 2022, but I am using the MacBook as my main laptop of choice right now. I might do a video on this sometime in the future, but I have used Windows computers for my entire life, and I've honestly kind of hated Apple products. But these new Apple Silicon chips really got me interested in these laptops. I decided to buy this laptop last year, and I have to say that I've been converted. One of the main reasons for that is the battery life. We're not too far into this test, and you can already see the difference in these batteries. The efficiency of these ARM chips is very impressive. Add that onto their power, how quiet they are, and their much lower heat output. They make great laptops for full stack developers like me. Here I've jumped ahead to a little over 45 minutes into the test, and the Windows laptop is at 50%, and the MacBook is sitting at 77%. So the writing is on the wall as to who is going to win this competition. And I'll skip ahead here for the last little bit of this test. Here is 25% on the Windows laptop, which is an hour and 10 minutes into the test. The MacBook still has 65% battery. Here's the Windows laptop on its last legs as it begins to shut down with 2% battery left at 3.48 p.m., which is an hour and 25 minutes after we started the test. The MacBook, however, still isn't halfway through its battery with 57% left. All right, so that was a pretty interesting test. Um, I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I don't remember the exact times, but it's been about an hour and a half. And those are about times I expected. I figured the Lenovo would go about an hour to an hour and a half. And I kind of assumed the MacBook might have between 40 and 60% of its battery left. I'm not positive that this is an apples to apples test, but I think it's a pretty decent one. So if you like this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any ideas for other comparisons for these two laptops, let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Also, I just thought of this. I really hope that OBS recording on Lenovo made it through when it shut down. I'm not sure how OBS handles that, but we're going to find out.